Hello there guys, it's Maxo Diddley here and today I am here with another Java tutorial to help you get that A in your practical exam. And today we're with the final episodes of doing a length check. So yes, originally I said there was going to be two, but I realised there is one other type of length check you can do, and that is checking whether or not the user input's length is greater than a certain value or less than a certain value. So I'm going to quickly show you how to do that. So I'm assuming you've watched the other two tutorials, if you haven't, then be sure to go and watch them. There, there will be an eye in the top of the right of the screen, which you can click on and it'll be able to take you to the videos. So we're going to quickly make two variables. We're going to do string input and we're going to set it to Jimmy007. He's back, guys. He really won't get over the defeat he had in episode one. And then we're going to have int max length, if I can type properly. And we're going to set that to 6. So basically, the maximum length that this string can be will be 5 characters. Or you could make it 6 if you wanted, but for this case, it's just 1 below whatever this is. But it's really easy to change. Now we're going to have um, our method again. So it's going to be public static boolean. And it's going to be called length check. And we're going to take in two um, arguments. We're going to do string in and int len. And then we're going to put in our curly bracket. So this is a Boolean method. We've called it length check. And we take in the string in and int len. And these take the value of whatever string input is and whatever the integer max length is. So in this case, it will take in the value of Jimmy007 and 6. And now we're going to do one line of code, return, if I can type return, we're going to do in dot length is less than len. So what does this line of code do? Well, it basically gets the length of, of whatever string dot in is. And in this case, in is Jimmy007. Jimmy007 is 8 characters. So this becomes an 8. And len is quite literally whatever len is, which is max length, which is 6. So this would check if 8 is less than 6, and it's not. If this is, if this is false, it returns false. If it's true, it returns to whatever this method is called. Now we're going to do the if statement. We're going to do if length check input max length. Oh, oops, I mistyped in the variable. Oops. In here, we're going to do j option pane dot show. I can't type today, guys. Message dialog. This should seem familiar, by the way. No. Valid. Then we're going to do else. Just copy and paste this code because we are lazy. We're just going to do invalid. Then we're going to right click on this and do fix imports. So what does this code do? So basically we got, our, we got an if statement. We're calling our length check method, which is this. And we're passing in the values of input and max length as the two arguments, which in this case are Jimmy007 and 6. Then it will do its method and it will return true or false. So basically this takes the form of true or false. If it's true, it's going to execute this code. If it's false, it's not true and therefore will execute whatever is in else. So let's test this logic. And it returns invalid. So you may be wondering why. Well, Jimmy007 is passed into our method. So, we, so Jimmy007 goes here and 6 goes into here. So it's getting the length of whatever Jimmy007 is, which happens to be 8. And len is equal to 6. And 8 is not less than 6, so therefore returns false. Say if we change the max length to, let's say, 10. And we play it. This should return valid. And it does, because we pass in the value of Jimmy007 into our method. And we pass in the value of 10 as the length of the maximum length, which takes the form of len. And we're basically saying, is 8 less than 10? Which is true. 
If the method returns true, execute this block of code. Otherwise, you would execute this. So there's one more thing we can do, guys. We can also check if the input is too short. And the only thing we have to do here is li literally swap this value around. So instead of being a less than symbol, we make it a greater than symbol. And we're going to change our variable to min length. By the way, the variable we're changing is max length, and we'll change it to min length as it's the minimum length. And we're going to set the minimum length to 6. This could all, this could be really useful if, say, you got a, you're telling your user to input a password, and you're like, okay, it needs to be at least 6 characters, or something like that. So yeah. So, let's just check this now. This should return valid. Yes, it does. So what's going on? Basically, we've got our two values, Jimmy007 and 6. 6 is the minimum length that the, that the input can be, and Jimmy007 is the input. So we pass in Jimmy007 and 6. We get the link length of Jimmy007, which is 8, and we're saying, is 8 greater than 6? And it's true. 8 is greater than 6. So therefore, it's true and we'll execute this code. Now we're going to change it to just Jimmy. Goodbye. Y your movie wasn't a success, you're just Jimmy now. So the value Jimmy is being passed in here, and the value 6 is still passed in here. We're getting the length of Jimmy, which is 5, and at len is 6. And basically we're saying, is 5 greater than 6? 5 isn't greater than 6, so this is false, therefore we're returning false here, so we execute this bit of code. So that's all for this tutorial guys. Be sure to leave a like and a comment if you enjoyed. Uh, be sure to also subscribe as we'll be posting daily Java tutorials to help you get that in your practical exam. If you've got any questions or requests for a tutorial leave them in the comments below and why not share with your friends so we can all get an A. Because that would be cool. Anyway guys thanks for being a great audience and we will see you next time.